Making pie dough, that's something people either love to do or they're afraid of doing, but let me show you that there's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, the basic pie dough recipe that I have in uh, A Baker's Odyssey calls for unbleached all-purpose flour combined with a quarter cup of cake flour and a little bit of salt. And there are two kinds of fats that I like to use in my pie dough. One is butter and the other is vegetable shortening. So here's the butter, and this is cold, unsalted butter that I've cut into tablespoon-sized pieces. And here is half a cup of vegetable shortening that's chilled. Now, I know that <laughs> when we talk about pie crust, we talk about tender and flaky. Well, in order to get tender, what you need to do is cut the fat into the flour so that you have small pieces of fat distributed throughout the flour so that you're getting your flour pretty much coated with fat. That's what makes the tenderness. I'm just cutting them, cutting them with a pastry blender and I have small particles. These are the small particles of fat of the shortening, which is going to give my pastry tenderness. And then here is this cold butter. And I'm going to cut that in with a pastry blender, but I'm not going to cut it into the point where it's going to be in as small pieces as the shortening was. So I'm pressing down pretty firmly because this butter is very cold. Okay, I'm just about done. If, if you look closely, you'll see that there are some fairly large pieces of butter here. And that's exactly what you want for flakiness. And then to make everything come together, sprinkle water. This is six tablespoons of ice water and one and a half teaspoons of cider vinegar. And the vinegar also acts to hinder gluten development. So it's another little helper for you to make sure that you don't have a tough pie crust. And then just toss everything around thoroughly with a fork. And pretty much what you want is you just want everything to kind of come together into a dough. And let me just get this out of the bowl. Put this right here so that you can see. This is a dough that's just come together. You see it's not, not at all sticky. And I have enough flour and actually enough dough here for two single crusts. So I'm going to divide this in half. I'm going to set this piece aside. Now, what you want to do with the dough, see, I'm being very gentle, pressing it together. Don't, don't knead it. Don't squish it. What you want to do is get a floured surface, pat your dough out into a cake. Now, roll out from the middle and flour as necessary, but only as, as little as possible. Roll out from the center. Okay. Now, I have my dough right here. I'm going to fold it in half, get it into my pie plate, and then unfold it. Now, at this point, you may be tempted to press down on the sides of the dough, but don't. Lift the dough up, nudge it gently into the pan, turn the dough around, turn the pie pan around, lift the dough up, nudge the dough right into the pan so that it adheres to the side and also the bottom of the pan without forming any kind of air spaces. And just keep doing this until the pan is lined, and there we are. It's very simple. Then take a pair of scissors and trim the dough to, say, about a half inch of overhang. Now you take this trim, the trimmed edge, and you fold it over to make a standing rim. And see, the dough, the dough is very responsive at this point. I mean, you can just Pinch it together. Okay, so there you have your your rim. And 
not to smooth it, you just take an index finger, point it straight down against the rim, and then pinch with the thumb and index finger of the other hand. 